In Africa, 600 million people lack access to electricity. Agatha was one of them. With electricity comes new opportunity for Agatha and her community. Today, Ghana is providing electricity to more than 83% of its population, the second highest in sub-Saharan Africa. But connecting remote areas like Aglicope to the national grid has proven to be nearly impossible. The solution, a solar-powered mini-grid, an affordable renewable alternative that can connect the homes and businesses in remote areas to power. These rural towns on the Volta River will now enjoy uninterrupted power, bringing new life, security, and economic opportunity. The light has indeed brought a very positive change to the members of the community and to be specific, my students. With the light, they've been able to learn in the evening, which helped them to progress in their academic performance, especially in the class. Now, since this year, since light, I don't know how to do it. 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 The government of Ghana, with support from Ida, the World Bank's Fund for the Poorest, constructed solar-powered mini-grids in five island communities on the Volta River to bring sustainable electricity to these remote areas. These solar-powered mini-grids are supplying reliable energy to 10,000 Ghanaians, helping Ghana achieve its goal of energy for all. Before this project will be established, there are a lot of challenges in this community here. People from outside normally come to the community and steal us. But because of this project, they stop coming. We are getting pure water, we are watching TVs. Bonnie light here, a knock with bad beer. In ye got in her noon. In her noon, yes, she got funny. She need light here, bad beer. In nine, I have village. In can honey, in home, chinalo, in home, wall. Necoma, she can, in knock. Scaled up across the continent, solar-powered mini-grids could be Africa's solution to achieving universal access to electricity.